Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and in this video we're going to take a look at this Gigabyte motherboard. This is the Z87M-D3H, and this is an Intel board, socket 1150, so this is a Haswell uh, compatible motherboard, or the fourth generation of the core processors. It is the Ultra Durable 4 Plus series, and it down there on the bottom ultra cool ultra performance and ultra safe with the dual bios take a look at that part of the box the side there we've got some uh, little features and benefits here in multilingual then on the back we've got a picture of their motherboard there and then it points out some of the features All in all, a nice looking motherboard box. But let's get to the important stuff and get inside. First of all, we have the standard rear, rear I.O. shield, excuse me. We've got two SATA six, uh, or excuse me, SATA three, six gigabit a second cables. One is a right angle. We have the motherboard manual and a driver disc, but it's always, like I say, double check to make sure you have the uh, newest drivers. And let's see, we have, this is entirely in English, the one that I have. Then we have a multilingual uh, installation book, piece of cardboard, and then the motherboard. Okay, so that's what we have in there. Now let's get the board out of the bag. And here we are. Comes with this little foam protector there, which I thought was kind of cool. I've uh, This is the first time I've ever seen one of these. But um, anyway, here we are. Uh, it's got the black and gray look, as you can see. And we'll start off there at the bottom. First of all, we have the uh, front panel audio and the SPDIF there, we have a COM port, we have a printer port, we've got the TPM, and we have 246 front panel USB 2.0. Move down here, we have a 4-pin fan header, and we have all of our front panel connectors as far as power and reset and hard drive activity light and that type of stuff. Then we kind of flip it over this way here. We've got some SATA 6 gigabit per second ports. There's six of them in total. We've got four uh, facing straight up and then we have two at a right angle here. Uh, we've got USB 3.0 header here. We've got a 24 pin uh, motherboard power. We've got four DIMMs, each one supporting 8 gigs. So you get 32 gigs of RAM maximum. Then over here, upside down, we have a CPU fan and we have a, excuse me, a 4-pin CPU and a 4-pin system header fan. And we also have a, another 4-pin fan right down here. So they're all 4 pins and there was a total of 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's 4 4-pin four fan headers. That's kind of cool. You don't see all of them as 4-pin fan headers all the time. And we've got a decent little heat sink here. Um, you know, I've seen better but that's not bad I, I don't think this is gonna be a super overclocking board but it should handle uh, should handle it pretty good and then I think I missed this but we've got an 8 pin uh, CPU power up here and then we've obviously got our socket 1150 so let's take a look at our PCI Express we have a um, by 16 slot here that is a 3.0 and then this one is a by four slot. It's electrically four, but physically 16. And this is a 2.0. So we have a by 16 3.0, a by four 2.0, and then two legacy uh, PCI slots there, just in case. Then we'll get to the rear I.O. We've got a combo port, a mouse keyboard there, PS2. We've got USB 2.0, there's two of them. And we moving along the way, we have USB 3.0. There is four of those. We've got an HDMI port here. We've got a DVI and VGA as well. 
gigabit Ethernet provided by Realtek, and then a Realtek audio uh, multi-channel out right there. So pretty simplistic board, um, but it will definitely get the job done. Like I said, it is the Z87 as well too, so that is the top-end chipset for the Intel um, LGA 1150. So, to wrap this up, we have, again, the Gigabyte Z87M-D3H motherboard, Intel Socket 1150. If you like the video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you dislike the video, you know, give me the thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And as always, thank you for watching.